contributed also by arranging a jewellery party, along with many others who, even by their voluntary work done during our three fundraising dances, enabled us to make a grand profit. All these events remind us we do owe them a debt of gratitude. We look forward to their continued support, so on behalf of 4563, I say sincerely, thank you, ladies. We do hope you will all have an enjoyable evening with us. Those who are here for the first time, we bid a very special welcome and trust your memories of us as our memories of you. A sonic heart to greet you, hands of fellowship to meet you. They are welcome here today, help to cheer you on your Brother Junior Warden, 
I thank you, Brother Tom Barrett, for your very delightful toast to all the ladies here tonight. You have truly honored us. We all do our best to support our husbands in the work they do in Freemasonry. From what I have seen of my husband's work, it is a very arduous task which demands a great deal of study. Rules over the rest. The blood in our veins flows the faster as a help is proposed loud and free of our excellent worshipful master. For a jolly good mason is he. He, oh, Presby for that eloquent toast you have just proposed. And you, ladies, gentlemen, brethren, for the manner in which you have received it. I ask Bush Norman to be brief in proposing this toast. If that is what he's like, Mrs. when he's brief, Mrs. Presty, what is he like when he's got a lot to say? <laughs> it is true that our secretary of the lodge for some five years five years, I just begin to understand what the job was about. <laughs> now ladies, when you entered this building tonight, I hope you entered by the front door, because the Yenton Masonic Hall Company have constructed a drive which leads up to a front door, and this is one of the many vast improvements the Yenton Masonic Hall Company are planning, and which our brother Junior Wharton referred to in his talks. By popular demand, and at very great expense, we have tonight provided a commissionaire. As you go out tonight with your car from the car park, you in all probability thump the roof of your car with his fist and shout, Good night, brother. <laughs> now, if I may for a moment strike a serious note, I would like to dispel any thought that this position of worship master is one of sinecure. The dictionary defines sinecure as an office with a salary but no work. <laughs> now I've been looking for such a job as that all my life. <laughs> and so far I've been unsuccessful and I've certainly not found a large integrity. In electing a brother to be worship master, the lodge bestows a great honour on him, and in return, the worship master takes a leading part in the ceremony of the lodge and organises the business detail. The toast you have just heard on worship of the mob was as much out of respect for the office as for the occupant of that office. In a world of falling standards, when we are shocked and numbed by man's inhumanity to man, and we in Birmingham know something about this, Freemasonry provides the antidote. Here we teach and practice. <laughs>
I would estimate that you have travelled between Leicester and Birmingham in the region some twelve some twelve and a half thousand miles, or halfway around the world since your initiation. <laughs> It is small wonder that you are such an accomplished ritualist. As every Mason here this evening will agree, there are probably more Masonic ceremonies carried out from behind the steering wheel of a car <laughs> than there are at actual Masonic meetings. We know that you are an ex-professional soldier, holding the rank of Battery Sergeant Major in the Royal Regiment of Artillery. Knowing you as I do, Worshipful Master, I find it difficult to equate your image with that of a well-known battery sergeant major <laughs> who recently reached the number one spot on the hit parade with whispering grass. <laughs> From my own service days, my only memories of matter of regimental and company sergeant majors were not happy ones. I am glad to say that you have disproved the theory that all sergeant majors are of doubtful background. <laughs> Back home, 
after large is immaculate. Or with a split, a split second, the signature tune starts. Match of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and after a journey of 45 miles from the large, from the large is no mean feat. Tom, I know, takes his masonry very seriously. And I'm sure that this year has been one he will look back on with very great pleasure. The highlight of which was having our son Randall accepted into the large.